Why? But the thing is, when I talk about Hawaii, they have a plant, they have probably up to 10 to 15 pounds. It's a big plant. But the formation of the f fingers are long, and that's, it's very same, convenient. Same variety? Absolutely, absolutely. It's very convenient. Uh, there's, there's, no, there's, I think it's just the growing condition in the terms of the weather condition that they have. And never below 75. Right. So these are the, uh, let's see if we can, uh, we just have to, um, uh, just play with it, remove all the soil, and then we take it outside, wash it. If you could, if you could, uh, um, just, let's take this outside. Why do we have two different kinds of roots? We have the small, little, white fiber roots, the then we have the thick one. Okay, let's, let's, let's walk outside, and then I wash this. Bring the other one that you have. We're going to wash it, and then uh, you'll see. Uh, who wants to put his hand on the water? Yeah, it is actually. Because of the heavy soil, it would be very difficult to clean it. But the light soil that we have in there, it's... Uh, okay, give me that big piece. Who had that big piece? Chris. Take those from him, Charles. Oh, Charles, call this. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, this is this is uh, this is not yellow ginger. Although it appears has some yellow elements, this is just white Hawaiian ginger. So, is there basically all of the ginger grown in the whole world is coming? There's one type of ginger. Well, there are there are certain variations, but not to the point that commercially it matters. Okay. Yeah, but that Hawaiian ginger is a mountain-grown ginger, and is a, it is kind of uh, very unique and very special. Again, I think the art of it is uh, holding it and kind of shaking it without breaking things and uh, and making sure you can get the get the hands. Uh. Oh, absolutely! Oops! Ah, oh, that was that. That goes my absolutely. We, we usually do it. Uh, Uh, please uh, don't uh, don't remind me of the food safety. <laughs> but uh, I certainly we usually we, we, we usually do this in the in the greenhouse. But uh, uh, who wants to hold this? Yes. Uh, this is uh, actually this is what I like to pack and take to the market. This is number one. What we call in terms of the product. Again, when we wash it, we clean it, uh, you got to make sure you take all the soil particles out and then sometimes even we brush it. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, uh, you dip it in the Clorox uh, and then just put it somewhere uh, and let it dry. And by uh, in four hours it dries out and you have just beautiful ginger uh, to, uh, to use, to sell, to take to the market. It probably easily can, under normal condition, it could last for two weeks to three weeks, taking it to the market, and if you don't sell it, bringing it back. And uh, I'm telling you, if you can have a piece of ginger, and if you have CSA, and providing a piece of ginger for your CSA, or going to your local farmer's market, it's a, it's a very, uh, very uh, interesting product. All right, but uh, I would say probably the potted plant that we had in there, we probably had at least... Uh, Probably between eight to ten pounds. Uh, is that is that fair to say what you saw in there? Yeah, I think that's the eight pounds. So one plant, ten pound of ginger. Uh, let's say if you have a green high, high tunnel like this, you could probably have between uh, 
I would say uh, 10 by 5 rows, you can probably have uh, between 50 to 60 plants.